we're looking at our PHP program to do an automated inventory and we're working on the delete button so here's what's happening when we come in this is our our first time visiting page we come in here and we select let's say we select we want to delete the dandelion tree when we hit the delete key it shows that we went into our delete record stub we haven't written the code yet but it's gone into our function but our table doesn't show up and it shows that we have a line on 94 where we have an invalid argument uh, our list box doesn't show up so the program is basically dead so let's do a code walkthrough to see what's happening here now to get back to where I was I can just redo the URL and it starts back as a first time visitor again I just highlighted the URL and hit enter and that treated me as a first time visitor if I break it and just do a refresh you can see that it, it sees me as a returning visitor and it doesn't change anything so that's a little trick as you develop now let's do that code walkthrough I go into our code and the first thing we're going to look at is it's going to come into our page and we're going to grab the current PHP file that we're working on and we're going to store that in a variable called self and I'll show you where we use that in just a minute also down in the form we have a, a hidden submit flag so we're going to say does that exist in the post so we look in the post array and we look for the hid submit flag if it does exist that means we've been to the page before but let's say it doesn't exist well then we come down here and we build a hard-coded array in so let's let's say we're the first time visitor we're going to run this code we're going to do the welcome we're going to build the array we're going to skip over these functions although they get put in memory as we as we get in here we call our display inventory function so if we go up here you can see I have the functions in alphabetical order so it's going to go up here and this is where it builds the table so it, find, it makes our inventory array global and we just build the, the table a row at a time for each row we're going to loop through and get the column so it's a for each inside of a for each so here's our columns for each column for each row alright so now we have our table displaying and then we display our form and again we populate our form with a for each from the table here's our table and we go through those records and for each record we pull out the ID and the description and here's where that self variable comes in so when the user connect clicks a submit button it's going to call itself this form action is going to call that file name which is the current file name we're working on so down here is the hidden submit flag right before our submit button and we gave it a value of 99 which we just pulled out of our head but it's good that's going to designate delete alright so now we have the selection from the list box we have our hidden submit flag with a value of 99 and we have our submit button so when the user clicks on the submit button it's going to take those three items put them in a suitcase and send them off to this file so go out to the server tell the server we want this form it's going to come in here and it's going to say well does the hid submit flag exist we'll say yes it does so we're going to take the value of it put it into our submit flag and just for so we know what we're doing there's our there's our uh, our debug statement now we're going to have a lot of options in the future we're going to have an add a delete there's that we can have several different options of what a person does on this page but right now we're just going to do the delete so 
Here we pull this out of our hidden submit flag. That's 99, so we do a switch, we look for 99, we find it, and it says, oh, run the delete record. So it comes down here, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to delete the record. And again, we didn't write that code yet, we just have a stub in. So it does that. And then it's going to come down here, do our H1, and display our inventory. Well, when it displayed our inventory, it can't find this variable. So let's go back to that error message. On line 94. So here on line 94, it can't find this variable right here can't find our, our array. Well, why not? Well, you notice when we went back out to the server the second time as a repeat visitor, we didn't create an array. All we have here is, you know, we're checked, we're going to delete the record, but there's no array. The array only happened the first time we went out, and the server doesn't remember things. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use a session to remember this array and then when we come in here we'll recall that array out on the server. We'll tell the server, hey, remember that array? It'll bring up that session variable and then we'll have the array available to, to, uh, to delete the record and continue on. So this is a really good example of the uh, internet or the web, a web server being stateless. Each time you make a request with a post going out to the action, each time you make a request for a web page, you're starting fresh. So as things stand right now, this is as far as we can get until we figure out session variables. And that will be in the next workshop.